Hello and welcome to Southampton Vampire by Night's Guide to the Mind's Eye Theatre Rules. In this video, we'll be looking at the intimidation skill. Before I carry on with this video, I must make a small disclaimer. If any of the rules I discuss in this video contradict with the rules found within the Mind's Eye Theatre rulebook or an official FAQ, please adhere to these rules and not the ones discussed in this video. This video has been created from my point of view and interpretation of the rules and is not a sanctioned or official source of information. Intimidation is an aggressive means to persuade others to your way of thinking, with them being afraid of what may happen if they decide to disagree with you. The intimidation skill is a representation of your character's ability to assert their will on others. This is normally based on your physical size, fighting prowess, reputation or just knowing how to push someone's buttons and play on their fears. By having no points invested in the intimidation skill, your character will lack the knowledge to appear frightening. You may be the biggest, toughest, meanest person in the room, but without the skill to back it up, you'll find yourself coming across as funny rather than scary. By investing points in the intimidation skill, you have an extensive knowledge in how to make yourself appear frightening and threatening. By clever use of words and posturing, you can tap into that fight or flight instinct of a person and persuade them that fighting is no longer an option. You are the master at controlling others' emotions by aggressive social cues and actions. It's very hard to say no to you when you raise your voice or clench your fists, as the person engaged in conversation is truly terrified of what may come next. The system effect for the intimidation skill is as follows. Stock NPCs, including retainers with a rating of 2 or less, will not attack a character with the intimidation skill. If your character acts aggressively towards a 1 or 2 point NPC, it will flee. This behaviour does not apply to mindless stock NPCs, such as inanimate objects given life by magic or mindless zombies. An example of the intimidation skill could be as follows. Two characters are outraged as a member of their clan has just entered court covered in blood and announces that they have been attacked on their way to court. They believe they know who is to blame and point at one of the occupied tables. One of the characters starts to head towards the table, screaming bloody murder as they do so. An occupant of the table stands up and initiates an intimidation challenge with the approaching character. They win the challenge and calmly say, sit down and be quiet. The first character, having lost the challenge, believes they have brought a knife to a gunfight and so starts to back off. The result of winning the challenge added a roleplay effect to the scenario, as the losing character is now roleplaying being afraid of the first. Another more real world scenario of this skill could be a spider. The spider has invested a point in the intimidation skill and utilises this skill when it sees me approaching it with a glass. It initiates an intimidation challenge against me and wins the challenge. Because I've lost the challenge, I will try to avoid it and very much aware of its presence when in the room. I will try to not disturb it and actively do other things to try not to get close to it. We are a hundred times bigger than a spider and could easily kill it or trap it. But because it won the challenge, I don't see it this way. Also, for the record, I have never won a challenge, or intimidation challenge with a spider, and they are the true masters of this household. The roleplay effect for this skill, if you've been affected by it, is fear. Something inside of you is telling you that it's in your best interest to do what you've been asked. Even if you believe your character is bigger, tougher and harder than the one who has intimidated you, it makes no difference. Just remember the little spider and the power that it has over you.
Southampton Vampire by Night would highly recommend that you invest some points in the intimidation skill if you are planning to play a socially aggressive character. You can completely change the direction of a conversation or encounter with the briefest of threats, but you must remember that in most scenarios you are adding a role play effect element. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this video informative. If you've enjoyed it and would like to see more, please subscribe and click on that little bell icon. If you have any ideas for vampire LARP related videos, then please don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. Thank you and I'll see you all again soon. A member of their clan has just entered court. Could they out back? Sorry, I've got gonna sneeze and it's making me five seconds. It's very emotional. Making this video. I am looking at a bright light. <sighs> Look up and at a bright light, right? Okay. It's gone, it's gone. It's gone. It's the beard oil. It's gone on my nose. Okay, here we go. Gallantly. So just coming across as either funny, not scary. Nah, no, that's me changing the script. Going off script again. Nah, nah, nah. Getting it wrong. By investing points in the intimidation skill PCs, such as inanimate, 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 inanimate objects, fuck's sake. Inanimate, inanimate, inanimate. Inanimate. Right, okay. Such as inanimate objects given life by magic or mundane zombies or mindless. Oh, big words. Cool. Don't forget thumbs, Katie. Thumbs is what we require. Good. You can see them. <laughs> That's inappropriate use of thumbs. Intimidation skill could be as follows. Two char two characters, fuck's sake. <laughs> characters. <laughs> God damn it, please. Thank you for what you're doing. But damn you. Inanimate objects given life by magic or mindless zombies. Mindless zombie. Why did I do this at the end? It was fun. <laughs> I'll do it again. As inanimate objects given life by magic or mindless zombies. Trash or do it again. I think I should do that again. Do it again, just keep it. Yeah. <laughs> Intimidation is an aggressive means to persuade others to your way of thinking, with them being afraid of what would happen if they did a, if they did it, did it, did it, did it, did it back.